We have heard from the adults, but I'm sure some of you may be wondering, how do the kids themselves feel? Our second to last speaker is just 11 years old, but, but he's already a Mother Earth Toastmasters speaker. The Mother Earth Toastmasters Club is a social change organization that empowers its members to develop communication skills to take effective action in order to make a difference for our survival and well-being. Today, Oliver is going to tell us about what it's like to grow up with climate change. Let's hear it for Oliver, everyone. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am a typical 11-year-old dealing with life. School is too much. Tuition is too much. And I think I'm eating too much. But what really scares me the most is that puberty is on the horizon. Hmm. Acne and moustache. Yucks. Seriously, what I'm trying to say is that I'm beginning to be more aware of what's happening around me. I was having a conversation with my mother about the hazy conditions in the past few weeks. I also remembered that I was coughing and wearing a face mask when the weather was hazy a few years ago. My mother refreshed my memory that there was an Elliot, my little brother, was a year old in 2013. She said she was very concerned, especially with Elliot, coughing and tearing up constantly. It was a trying time, and although I can't remember all the details of the encounter, the face masks and constant coughing were etched into my mind. In the last two years, one of the things that's gotten my attention is issues relating to Mother Earth. I'm more alerted and sensitive towards media and conversations about single-use plastics, water, climate change, and so on. So, what does this mean for me and my generation? The current climate situation is in a dire state, and we as children are living in a climate-stricken world. Aside from the haze, it's also getting way too hot to stay out for too long. On case of extreme heat, I can't go outdoors because my eczema will flare up. It's really awful. East Coast rising sea levels was mentioned by our Prime Minister in his recent National Day Rally speech. Marine Cove is a place that we frequent to cycle in school. Marine Cove is our favourite playground. We have spent many evenings and weekends there. Many happy memories. And now, our East Coast can potentially disappear. How unthinkable! Sadly, a lot of my classmates and friends are still in that don't know don't care or I know but don't know what to do phases. This is because we are very fortunate to be living in Singapore where most necessities are in abundance. We can't really comprehend the impacts of droughts, floods, hunger and malnutrition. However, the question then is not whether it will happen but when. How habitable will Singapore be in 46 years time when they celebrate this 100th birthday? My brother recently shared with me an article which talked about how children had the power to influence their parents on climate change. It informed that children could increase parents' level of concern for the climate and parents really do care about what their children think. This gave me an idea. Let's teach our parents a lesson for once. What I'm trying to put across is that, may, is that we as children can make environmental efforts sustainable. The government can introduce compulsory subjects into our school curriculum, no different from civic education, where students are taught about ethics and values. Equally then, children must be taught about their environment and how collectively their responsible efforts will have an impact. 
In turn, their actions will influence their parents' actions, and when our time comes, we will teach our children to make the right choices as well. Such an initiative will be a sustainable, multi-generation approach towards fighting climate change as a nation in the longer term. I respectfully ask the Prime Minister and his cabinet to look into my proposal. Thank you. Thank you.